Down here before we go up there. 
Hallelujah. It will be a day of rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to go into prayer. We're going to sing this song for prayer. Praise the Lord. You, Lord, you are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
the service. If you need prayer, you can come right now. We'll pray for you. I have for you this morning. God is able, hallelujah, is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that you may ask or think. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, God can fix it this morning. you down, he can lift you up. If you're sad, he can make you glad. If you're bound, he can lose you. 
Whatever you have need of, come this morning. We'll pray for you. I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Here is my worship, all of my worship, receive, receive my worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship Jesus. Jesus and you alone. Father, all that we have, we give to you. Eternal God and our Father, our Lord, our King, our Savior, the Lord who woke us up this morning, you brought us here, still in our right mind. Lord, we thank you. You are gracious. We honor you, Lord, because there is none like you. Lord, we look outside and the heavens declare your glory. The firmament show it your handiwork. Lord, there is none like you. There is none like you, Jesus. Lord, we bless your holy name. And you are worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you for your grace. And we thank you for your mercies. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this opportunity, for the privilege, Lord, where we can assemble in this fashion, Lord, where we can acknowledge your grace and your goodness towards us. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for blessing us and for enabling us. We thank you, Lord, for pouring into us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your rich blessings, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Father God, we thank you, Lord, for keeping us. We thank you for being our rock and our defense and our shelter from the storms. We thank you, dear God, for fighting our battles. We thank you, dear Lord, for the disease that you heal. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, for setting us free. Lord God, you are good. You are good, Lord. You are good. And your mercies, dear God, endures forever. Lord, we are so undeserving. So undeserving, Lord, of your blessings. But Lord, you continue to bless us. And we are grateful. Father, as we are gathered here, Lord, we present ourselves as a living sacrifice. We come, Lord, with our own agenda. But we pray that today, not just our agenda, but that your will will be fulfilled in us. That, Lord, you will have your way in us. That you will use us, Lord, for your glory. I pray that today, Lord, that you will have your way in this house. That you will have your way in us, Jesus. I pray that you will lead and that you will direct, dear God. I ask you, Lord, that everything will be done to the glory and the honor of your name, Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray, Lord God, every soul that is gathered here this morning, that our lives, that our hearts will be poured out to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That we will come and we will say, Lord, all to Jesus I surrender. And all to you, Lord, I freely give that we will ever love and trust you, Lord, and in your presence daily live. Lord, take over today's proceeding. We pray for the one who moderates, for the one who will stand, Lord, in the pulpit to deliver your word today. Lord, we look to you for a word because you are the hill from where our help comes from. Lord, so we look to you, Jesus. You know what we need more than even we do. So, Lord, we pray, dear God, that you will meet us where we are. Some are weak. Some are broken. Lord, some are down. Lord, some are depressed. Some don't know where to turn. But we turn to you, Jesus. We turn to you, Jesus, because you are the answer for every situation. Lord, we look to you, Lord Jesus. We look to you. And I pray that today, Lord Jesus, that in all things, you will be glorified. Have your way while we look to you and we say thank you in Jesus name praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord we thank God for prayer hallelujah hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah shout hallelujah again praise the Lord praise the Lord we're gonna sing this chorus joy bells keep ringing in my soul the Bible said the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. And every day I think about the goodness of Jesus. It brings joy to my soul. Praise the Lord.
the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, we're going to read our scripture this morning. Praise the Lord. We're going to read the book, um, James chapter 1. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask Minister Pastor Wendell to come and read that for us. James chapter 1 from 1 to the end. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us all stand when we find Joy him. bells. Joy bells. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We're going to read our morning scripture lesson. Amen. At this time, which is taken from James chapter number one, reading from verse one to the end. We're going to read alternatively. Amen. And it's the custom of this assembly to stand in reverence to the reading of God's holy word. If you're able in your body this morning, we're asking that you please stand while we read God's word. Amen. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Let patience have its perfect work, that ye may be able to perfect it. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and unbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask of faith, not faith. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in his country is low. But the of the he shall pass For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is every man that endure a temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to him that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted, and he is run away of his own lust and insight. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, which with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But he is the word of the Lord, not the hearers only, deceiving our own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto man, beholding his natural face in a glass. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, 
and continueth therein, he being not forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. And if any man comes to thee to the church, and he love not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, not man is virtuous. The last word we'll read all together. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. May the Lord add his richest blessing to the reading of his holy word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Wendell. Praise the Lord. It is our custom every Sunday morning to pray for our children age, from age um, baby and up to 18. So if you can come this morning, let us pray for you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm a child of the King. verse that you say every Sunday morning at the count of three you can say it in your loudest voice one two three and where is it taken from praise the Lord give them a hand praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord God bless you praise the Lord at this time, praise the Lord, I greet the, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, which is the head of the church, the head of our lives. I greet our pastor in our absence this morning. I greet our bishop in his absence this morning. Praise the Lord. I will greet our assistant pastor, Pastor Sarah Taylor. Praise the Lord. I greet our men's pastor, Pastor Bobby Johnson. Our young people, pastor, Pastor Wendell Johnson. Our men auxiliary, Elder Green in his absence, and Elder Henry Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I greet all the officers, all the saints, and all the visitors in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, I'm going to turn the service over to Pastor Sarah. Praise the Lord. Redeem when my burden of sin was high. Redeem. So condemned to die, redeem for the price I could not pay. Redeem, hallelujah, redeem, redeem. When well, my burden of sin was high, redeem when well, my soul condemned to die. Redeem 
of our God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to greet every one of you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our pastor and our bishop are away, but we want to greet you on their behalf. They will be back in the next few days. Just pray God's traveling mercies over them. And in fact, there are a few people away this week, but we thank God for those that are here. Praise the Lord. If you are joining us via live stream on face, Facebook, yeah, Facebook or, or YouTube, amen, we're happy to have you. God bless you. Amen. It is offering time. It is our opportunity to sow into the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward at this time, and if you would just gather your offering together. Amen. There's a declaration of our faith that we make as we give. It's a reminder that God is the source of all the good things in our lives, that he is our provider. Amen. So I'm going to ask you just to stand to your feet when you found your offering, and we are going to declare together. Let's hold up your offering before the Lord. Amen. I lost my phone. I'll find it in a minute, but trust me, I'm going to give. Here we go. Today, as we worship God with our tithes and our offerings, we believe God for jobs and for better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritances, interests and incomes, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money in unexpected places, debts paid off, expenses decreased, blessings and increase in Jesus' name. Bow your heads, Father, in the name of Jesus. As we come before you, God, we honor you, we bless you, and we give you praise. Uh, we recognize that you are the mighty God of heaven, uh, that you are the God who spoke and it was done, uh, that you are the God who commanded and it stood fast. Uh, the word calls you the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, and that, Father, God, you can do anything but fail. Uh, Father, even as we prepare our hearts to give this morning, uh, we pray that you would receive it Lord uh, that Father God uh, you would bless uh, the life of every giver uh, bless them God my Father in any way you see fit uh, bless them on the job uh, bless their houses bless their families uh, help them to prosper God my Father and for all to know uh, that there is a blessing in our giving have your will Lord uh, have your way in your people and we will be careful uh, to honor you uh, in Jesus name Name. Amen and amen. The worship team is going to sing a song as the offering is collected.
Hallelujah. Lift your voice. Glory, glory, glory. Shout unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. 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 Hallelujah. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we get to glory land. Hallelujah. 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 You see, the song is giving us a reminder that when we get to glory land, hallelujah, Christ is going to hold us by our hand and we all will be united. Hallelujah. What a glorious day that will be. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thanking God to be in his house this morning. I want to greet our pastor in our absence, uh, Pastor Sarah Taylor also, and Bishop Johnson. Praise the Lord. And Deacon Henry, um, Elder Kempton, and uh, Elder Green in his absence. And all you wonderful burgeoning in Christ and the officers. Uh, pastor Wendell Johnson. Praise the Lord. Uh, young people's men, um, leader, pastor, praise the Lord. And I just want to say, I give God thanks this morning to be in his house. It is a wonderful opportunity to be here. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, many cannot make it today because they are unable to do so. I want to pray for Sister Marvelyn. She's uh, having some problem right now with her foot. Her foot. But uh, the Lord is able to take care of everything. Praise the Lord. He's a healer. Hallelujah. So she could not be here this morning. I just want to say God is a good God, even on a bad day. When things are not going too well for us at the moment, still put our trust in God. Hallelujah. Because he's able to bring us through. Praise the Lord. I don't see uh, any new visitors here today. Uh, I don't think there is any. Praise the Lord. So we'll just move on. Praise God. And uh, there's a few things I'd like to bring to your attention. Praise the Lord. This uh, month, the end of this month, April 26th is, uh, to the 29th, is the ladies' conference. So just want to remind you ladies that the ladies' conference is coming up on the 26th of this month, right up until the 29th. And this is why we are doing uh, Men's Day today, because we have switched with the ladies. So they will be doing it on the day that we would be having the men's service. Praise the Lord. And this is of great importance, and I'm going to put great emphasis on this. Praise the Lord. This is just a reminder that the registration for the pre-Mother's Day brunch, which will be held on Saturday, May the 4th, is open. And it will be closed. I'm going to say this again. And it will be closed at 4.30 p.m. on April 22nd. Let me do that again. The pre-Mother's Day for May the 4th, it will be closed on May or April the 22nd at 4.30 p.m. So, please do not forget to register. You must complete these things. You have to have an email all right? I'm making sure that I'm emphasizing on this. If they, uh, please do not, uh, please know that they, there is not, if the registration is not completed without these criteria being filled out, that is your email and your age cohort. 
Now, if you have, if, if no email address is filled out, you will not be contacted. And that's the only way we're going to get contacted to each individual that register. You've got to have your email. For those who do not have an email address, the ultimate is by phone. You phone. Again, the primary requirement is your email address. Here are some things. You can register by visiting the church website and fill out the Microsoft form or calling the church office during regular hours. And then your email, um, men's, emailing men's at showers, showersofblessingschurch.com. Now, and the final part of this is, or the physical uh, note board or notice board in the foyer. All right? One more thing. Just to remind the brothers that our upcoming training is important for you to remember. It will be held on May the 25th, and it will be at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. We had one before, and it was very well attended, and we had a wonderful lots of information. So we just want to make sure that we remind you, brothers, keep that in your memory. On May the 25th, we will be having our training session right here at the church like we did the last time. Praise the Lord. The Sunday school is having a bottle drive. All right? So this is, this is something of great importance. Um, they need help, I imagine. And um, they also would like to probably have help her. If, please bring your bottles on Sundays or during the office hours in the week, if preferred. All right? I don't know if there's anything else I have missed, but um, just want to say one more thing. We're going to go into the Word. Say, it's time for the Word. So at this very moment, without any further hesitation, please stand with me. We have a man of God here that is willing to bring forth the word, and we want to continue to pray for him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so at this very moment, we are going to present to you with no other further hesitation, Elder Desmond Samuel. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Come on, give the Lord a worthy praise. Somebody say he's worthy to be praised from the uprising of the sun to the going down the same. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in it and are saved. Today we want to honor God. We want to give thanks glory and honor to him today because if it wasn't for him we would not be here amen we want to honor our leaders in their absence and the leaders of every department in this church i will learn the names and uh, and all that stuff as time goes by and um to everyone that is here today we greet you in the precious name of jesus uh, i'd like you to turn your bibles with me to the book of saint john chapter 3 and we are going to read from verse 1 through to verse 7. St. John chapter 3 from verse 1 to 7. Amen. We always honor God and really appreciate every opportunity we get to represent him in any capacity that we can. And it reads thus, There was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jew. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Hmm. 
Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. You must be changed. Bless the Lord. Give the Lord a worthy praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. In the name of Jesus, we commit everything into your hands right now. God, we ask that whatever the needs of your people are, that you will supply it even through the spoken word. We pray you send the anointing that makes preaching easy. Lord, send the anointing that destroys yokes and liberate the captives. And help us to be careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to be free from sin and have Christ within. To be made a joint ear with Jesus, my Lord. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Just uh, for clarity, we just want to leave a, a topic for you and it is there is a transition for your condition nicodemus came to jesus by night he didn't even come by day he was actually even hiding did not even want the people to see or to know that he was coming because being a part of the sanhedrin he was a part of the religious elite you know, so to come to this common person that because they really didn't accept Jesus for who he was at the time. But, you know, your, 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 your gift, the Bible said, will make room for you and bring you in front of noble men. And so whatever giftings that God has blessed you with, don't hide it under a bushel. Don't hide it under a rock. Allow God to use you because sometimes those gifts that he has given you, not sometimes, they are for the edifying, the edification of the body of Christ. Mm, a lot of times we take these things for granted and sometimes you sit back and you notice some folks and you're like, how comes they are so gifted? How comes they do the things that they do? How comes they preach like that? And why not me? Maybe you have not made yourself available for God to use you in that particular manner. He's looking for two kind of people. He's looking for those who are usable and he's looking for those who are available. So you got to ensure mm, that you make time out so that God can do for you, through you, with you, what he so desires to do. Mm, when we come into the house of the Lord, we just don't come to make up numbers. We come here so that we can help each other. Mm, we also come here because they said that, don't leave the house of the Lord. Let it lie waste while you sit in your, in your seal house. We are here to enhance and to encourage and to uplift and to build up each other. We are not divided. Somebody say, oh, all one body are we. And so as we go through our Christian life, we recognize that there has to be changes in the way we do things sometimes, and there has to be changes in the way our administration is. Mm, I was looking at those who teach English, are those who are English majors who understand it, and they said that in English, when you make a sentence, some things are constant and some are variable. The constant things, they cannot be changed. They are constant. They, you don't do anything with them. But the variables, they can be changed, they can be modified and manipulated. Just like that in the church of the God, there are some things here that are constant. You dare not change it. Baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is a constant. We don't change that. Living holy is a constant. We don't change that. Oh, Lord, help us here today. 
things. Sometimes we put on some things and we put burden on people that are not even necessary. But we are here to tell you today, yeah, let's find the constant, keep them constant, uh, and the variables we can deal with as we go along. Uh, oh, Lord. So when it comes to living right, uh, there's no changes where that goes. Uh, mm, when it comes to doing the things that the Bible said, uh, we don't change those. We have to stick uh, to what God and what the Bible said. Uh, mm, somebody once remind us uh, that heaven is real and hell is real. Uh, and we don't just come here because we're just doing it as a show uh, or it is just another social gathering. Uh, at the end of the day, I want to go to heaven. Uh, how about you? Uh, mm, we stood here yesterday and we watched a casket uh, as it lay here and the person that was in that casket, an 84 year old female uh, mm, I'm no, I don't know whether she was saved or not, uh, that's between her and God uh, but one thing I know for certain uh, uh, the condition that she was in, it doesn't matter what anybody said, um, nothing could be changed uh, from the time she took the last breath uh, so us who are here today we have an opportunity yeah, that if our lives are not lined up with the word of God uh, we now have the chance to make our wrongs right uh, and our crooked pathway straight uh, because one thing they told us that there is no repentance in the grave uh, so now we have to get to that point and find out uh, is anything in my life that I need to repent of uh, mm, God why are you pushing me this way uh, you know sometimes we go about in life uh, and the bible said it's appointed unto man wants to die uh, but after death come at the judgment uh, oh god i don't know about you but i don't want to have uh, anybody in my heart in a sense of carrying envy, malice, and strife. Uh, oh God, so if you, the Bible also declare uh, that if you come to the altar and you have an art against your brother, uh, leave your gift at the altar. Uh, go make it right and then come back. Uh, it didn't say if your brother have an art against you. You have an art against your brother. Sorry. It said if your brother have an art against you. Uh, in other words, you are going to help me to stay safe. Uh, you are going to help me to make it right. Uh, because I am my brother's keeper. Uh, I know sometimes we like to live in a little bubble uh, where we don't want to help anybody. Uh, but the songman said, if I could help somebody uh, as I travel along, mm, then my living shall not be in vain. Uh, oh God, I look at the, um, the youth president uh, and I look at her two boys that she have with her. Mm, and as we go through life, uh, I'm sure that when they first came out of the womb, uh, she was very happy and excited about them being little and cute and nice. Uh, but in her mind and in daddy's mind... Uh, he had to know that they cannot stay at that position all the time. It doesn't matter how cute they are. If four months from the time they were born, they were just the same size and everything that come out the womb, then she now have cause for concern. And so as we go, they have to hit certain milestones. By the time he get to two months, he got to be able to push up on his hands, lie on his belly, and look around uh, why he is hitting a certain milestone uh, because now changes begin to take place in his life uh, when he get to four months uh, he got to be able to roll over hmm. and so mommy now have to be careful uh, can't just leave him on the bed as she wish uh, oh when he gets to six months old uh, he's got to be able to sit up in a very pos uh, funny position uh, with his two hands beneath be between his legs uh, oh god and by the time he gets to seven months uh, he got to start making some sounds and saying some words uh, and at eight or nine months he's gonna start saying dada dada uh, and mommy sometimes get upset and said why are you calling daddy's name before you call mine uh, mm, but mommy let me put your mind at ease uh, it's easy for him to say dada than to bend in his lips and say mama so don't worry about it uh, it's just a matter of 
Mm. So yes, dads, we, we, sometimes we get excited and say, he's calling my name first. Uh, but there is a reason for that. It's not because he loves you more than mommy. Uh, RC, yes, yes, yes. Uh, mm, by the time that baby gets the nine months, uh, that baby now has to be cruising. Uh, what do you mean cruising, preacher? Uh, it means he got to hold on to something uh, and begin to walk. Uh, why? Because the goal is by the time that child gets to one year old, uh, he's supposed to be walking. Mm -hmm. And by the time he gets to one year old, uh, he's supposed to be saying two words. Uh, good God from glory. Uh, because the goal for every child at birth uh, is that when they get to a year old, uh, mm, they are walking at the time uh, and they are verbalizing certain things. Uh, when the child gets to two years old, uh, it now must be able to understand uh, a two level um, two level instructions uh, mm, you should be able to tell him go get your shoes and bring it over to me uh, but good God from glory uh, when that child gets to four year old uh, have you ever been around a four year old uh, good God their vocabulary is over 500 words uh, and they will talk off your ears from here until then uh, why because they are now going through their transition uh, and so it is with the baby as it transition. Uh, us as children of God have to be patient uh, with the persons who are baptized in our church. Uh, sometimes at six months old uh, in church we expect them uh, to be living holy. Mm. We expect them uh, never to make a mistake. Uh, we expect them uh, to be living like the person uh, that has been in church for over 20 years. Uh, good God from glory. Uh, we got to give them an opportunity. Uh, they're going to make some mistakes sometimes. Uh, but you got to say like Job said, uh, or like the Bible said, uh, that the just man falls uh, seven times, uh, but he get back up again. Uh, oh Lord, we have this thing uh, where we try to kill people, uh, but no, 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 no. Uh, not in this watch. Uh, we are supposed to Uh, we look at it and as they transition uh, and as that baby transition and goes from one stage to the next uh, we have to take time out to help them uh, we got to take time out to do things for them uh, and so when God bring us some babies uh, he's going to bring us some babies they may be 20 year old uh, but the day they get baptized that is their rebirth uh, uh, they may be 25 years old uh, but the day they get baptized that is their new birth uh, so now we have to get some people in place uh, that is going to train them uh, that's going to teach them uh, that's going to bring them through the ranks uh, because brethren 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 uh, what are we dealing with uh, we're dealing with spiritual warfare uh, oh God from glory uh, I remember my daughter the youngest one uh, when we were living in Grand Prairie at the time I was living there uh, mm, they came up because it was a uh, for vacation uh, and so during the summer vacation we went uh, mm, to that church in Grand Prairie uh, I think she was about five years old at the time uh, and sister Sarah she was tiring for the Holy Ghost uh, and she got to the point where there was stammering lips uh, but she never went any further uh, and then when she got back to Ontario uh, she told my sister that she got half of the Holy Ghost uh, and she is waiting for the other half uh, Good God, it took some years. Uh, mm, but about a year or so before we decide to move here, uh, there was convention at our church in Toronto. Uh, and God bless her with the other half. Uh, oh God. <laughs> so it is that is what we gotta do because some folks would tell her when she told them she got the half they'd probably tell her stop talking foolishness but then we have to learn how to nurture one another we gotta learn how to lift each other up Jesus could have looked at Nicodemus and say you are a big man you're supposed to know better than that oh God it's just like oh God like Zacchaeus Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus 
Jesus. Uh, and so Zacchaeus got there, uh, but he was too short. Uh, and so he decided, uh, I got to get to a place uh, where Jesus can recognize me. Uh, oh God, sometimes you get to the crowd uh, and you cannot handle the press. Uh, and so it is. Uh, Zacchaeus decided to run ahead, uh, climb up into a sycamore tree. Uh, and while he was in the tree, uh, Jesus says, Zacchaeus, uh, come on here. Uh, somebody need to climb. Uh, good God above the crowd. Uh, I don't know what you're going through. Uh, uh, what God is about to do for you. Uh, mm, but the position you're at, uh, you're not going to get the breakthrough. Uh, it's time for you to transition. Uh, it's time for you to change. Come on, uh, you are sitting there a long time. Uh, you've been going through a lot of mess, uh, but it's time for a change. Uh, it's time to transition. Uh, Zacchaeus, where are you? Uh, Jesus is passing your way, uh, and he's calling, uh, and he's saying, Come unto me, uh, all you that labor uh, and are heavy laden, uh, and I. Some of us in here, we're tired, we're traumatized, we're dealing with stuff from our past, we're dealing with all kind of mess, and every time God tried to love us, we cannot handle the love of God, because it feels familiar to something that hurt me in the past, Lord God help us, but now we got to deal with the trauma, because if we don't deal with the trauma, good God, uh, I remember uh, I was reading a book on the redwood tree uh, and they said those trees uh, are supposed to live between a thousand and fifteen hundred years uh, mm, but then there was this one uh, that fell in the forest uh, and so the guys who do autopsy on these trees uh, decide he's going to do an autopsy on this redwood tree uh, and when he cut it across uh, he recognized uh, that this tree has only lived uh, for 150 years uh, God help us uh, and so now they begin to uh, do an examination uh, they wanted to find out uh, this majestic tree uh, why did it die this quickly uh, because they checked the area bishop uh, and they said but there was not a storm uh, mm, so it shouldn't have fallen over uh, there was no earthquake uh, so it shouldn't have fallen over uh, there's no adverse weather event so it shouldn't have fallen over they decide to do an autopsy and when they cut it somebody realized that there was a damaged part of the tree because they said about 20 years ago there was a fire and it burned the side of the tree and what the tree did the skin grow over the burnt area and by growing over the burnt area it was hiding the wound but while the wound was hidden it was decaying on the inside oh God I'm here to tell somebody whatever it is that caused you issues maybe 10 15 years ago you don't have to suffer in silence we come by to let you know yes you might have been abused but God can fix that yes you might have been beaten up but God can fix that a lot of us sitting down here we were told you never amount to anything but look at us now I'm blessed and highly favored because with God in my vessel I can smile at all the storms so though the storms keep on raging in your life oh God I don't know what kind of storm you're going through it might be just a minor one but all of us in here today have been through a storm or two I just feel uh, that somebody is suffering from terrible trauma uh, that has messed with them in their past. Uh, 
and come on Holy Ghost is going to help us huh? because sometimes huh? sometimes we go through and we pray and we fast huh? have you ever gotten to a point in your ministry or your Christian life huh? where you see persons who don't even go to church huh? and good God they are prospering huh? they are doing better than you are huh? and you are wondering to yourself huh? why even go to church huh? why do I even do this huh? but I remember David said huh? oh when I see there are prosperity huh? of the unrighteous huh? my feet huh? they almost slip huh? oh God from glory huh? mm, so Zacchaeus huh? he had his encounter huh? Nicodemus huh? he had his encounter huh? but how about me huh? how about my encounter huh? oh God a lot of us in here are Jamaicans huh? so maybe you can relate huh? I remember I went to a party huh? it was in the hills of Saint Elizabeth huh? and while we were at the party the tide huh? I was just about 19 years old huh? and I was on the dance floor huh? oh God and the music was right huh? mm, and we were just going the calypso was just there huh? oh God and it was going on huh? but while I was there dancing away huh? I felt at nudge huh? oh God my knees weren't working like they're supposed to huh? my waist wasn't moving like it used to huh? mm, I run off the dance floor and I run outside huh? oh God I recognized there was a transition huh? and when I ran outside to the truck that we were traveling in huh? I heard the Holy Ghost speak clearly into my ears huh? it's your transition time huh? well remind me I had no intentions uh, at the time to be saved uh, because my dad had 25 of us uh, 11 boys and 14 girls uh, mm, I was number I was the last for my mom uh, so my goal after graduating high school uh, was to show my dad that I could be just as good as you are uh, mm, good God from glory uh, so I went to church elder uh, and so I I went to the service the night uh, and Bishop Johnson from Brownstone preached the night uh, from St. John chapter 14 uh, and he said let not your heart be troubled uh, he believe in God believe also in me uh, after the message I went outside huh, and they made an altar call huh, good God and nobody was going to the altar huh, and I heard him say are you trying to tell me huh, that if God come tonight huh, everybody here is going to heaven huh, I wasn't yet baptized huh, but I recognize the importance of the Holy Ghost huh, so I walk up to the altar huh, and I lift up my hand huh, and I said God like you touched the woman with the issue of blood I am reaching out to touch you right now and I know nothing that happened next all I know I start saying some things that I didn't even understand I'm here to tell somebody the Holy Ghost is a necessity for you to go to heaven it is necessary for you to receive the Holy Ghost it is necessary uh, to be baptized in Jesus name uh, it is necessary uh, some folks are going around uh, I'm recognizing uh, that's one of the constant uh, that we're trying to make a variable uh, we have churches now telling folks uh, you don't need to speak in tongues uh, we have people telling folks uh, you don't need to tarry like you do uh, we have people now bamboozled uh, because everybody is not who they profess to be I come by to tell somebody Jesus said unto them go into the upper room and wait and they were there for seven days and on the seventh day the Bible declared the day of Pentecost it was fully come and they were gathered in one accord and suddenly Anybody here need a suddenly blessing? Nah. Anybody need a suddenly anointing? 
Oh God, oh good God from glory, we need somebody who can say, Lord, bless me suddenly, in spite of what I'm going through, bless me suddenly, yeah, we have ailment in your body, he can heal you. Come on, do you need a suddenly healing? Jump out of your seat, run to the altar, let him do it for you. You don't have to. Oh, good God from glory. Anybody need a suddenly healing? Anybody need a suddenly anointing? Anybody need a suddenly breakthrough? Oh, good God, you're sitting there. Anybody need to say, Lord, bless me right now? Oh, God, I heard Jabez said, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Oh, God, I'm speaking to somebody who's been messed with at work uh, that person messing with you uh, oh suddenly suddenly uh, come on uh, stand with me uh, oh good God from glory uh, and suddenly uh, just like the Holy Ghost came suddenly uh, I'm sending an anointing so Good God from glory. Just like the Holy Ghost came suddenly. I'm sending your healing. Come on, shake on our shy. There is a suddenly anointing. There is a suddenly breakthrough. Yes, you might have been molested as a little child. You've been going through your mess as a little child. And even as an adult, it's messing with your mind. But in the name of Jesus, sudden. Be healed suddenly. Be delivered suddenly. Be set free suddenly. Not tomorrow. Not next week. But suddenly. Send it, Lord. Suddenly. 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 Ha!
connect him, God, my Father, with the right connections. Let your anointing be on him. We ask it in Jesus' name. Father, just continue to have your way. We say thank you even now. We honor you, Jesus, and we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. visitor come in after the cards went up. So Ryan, I don't know where you are, but if you would just raise your hand. All right, there's Ryan in the back. Make sure you greet him before you leave. Welcome him to shower some blessing. God bless you.